Hey friends, it's Jen here at the Sunshine Farm. Today I want to share with you one of my favorite recipes, one of my favorite meals. If you're looking for something really hearty, really filling, flavorful, healthy, and frugal to feed you and your family. The funny thing about this recipe is that it might surprise you a little bit. You might not have heard of something like this before. And so, you've seen the title, so you probably know what it is. Crispy Potato Tacos. Whether or not you're plant-based like us, you're a vegetarian, you're vegan, or whether you eat meat, this is a great option and it's also very cost effective and takes less time than cooking some other tacos. Plus you can use potatoes straight from your garden or purchase from the store and generally they are much more reasonably priced than other taco fillings that you might use. This also is a great option if you have leftover beans, even things like leftover rice. It really is low cost. The only ingredients you really need are corn tortillas, potatoes, black beans, and some things to top them off with. My favorite things to top the tacos with are things that we actually grew here in our garden over the summer and then stored in our pantry throughout the winter. So for the recipe that I'm sharing today, I topped it off with pickled serrano peppers, I added some hot sauce that we made with our serrano peppers last summer and also salsa that I canned. So salsa that I made in the summer, canned, and then used to top off the tacos. Actually we used the rest of our salsa which was a little sad but we're getting close to growing season again so I'll have some salsa soon enough. I also love to add avocado but of course this might make it a little bit more pricey and it's completely optional. We're just huge avocado fans and so it's one of those staples in our diet that we always splurge on at the store. Although I did get the avocados for today's recipe for just 79 cents a piece at a local market called Aldi's that we have in upstate New York. The black beans were actually leftovers that I had from earlier this week. I've been using my Instant Pot to make beans super easily. Guys, if you haven't made beans in an Instant Pot, it is a game changer. Before, I always purchased canned beans, and for the first time, I've been able to purchase dry beans. It's super quick, super easy. I have wanted to learn more about using dried beans because we're actually planning on growing a lot of beans in our garden this year so I was trying to help prepare myself for that transition and so I just bought started buying dry beans and the instant pot has made my life so much easier so the beans were left over I knew I had potatoes and I had corn tortillas I actually had cilantro in the fridge that I feed the bunnies <laughs> and same with the romaine and then I also had those pickled serranos, the salsa, and the hot sauce already ready to go. So this recipe was really easy to put together. So what I do is I first start boiling a pot of water, and then I start chopping up the potatoes into like half inch cubed pieces. I even will throw in some sweet potato as well, so it doesn't have to be all one type of potato. You can mix it up a bit. And then I add the chopped up potatoes to the boiling pot of water until they're starting to be tender, and you don't want them too soft. Then you're going to go ahead and saute them with a little bit of oil, and so you don't want them to be too soft or else they're going to get mushy when you go and add them to the pan to saute them. So you want it just when they start to be tender. So then I just take a little strainer, I pull them out of the boiling pot, I throw them into a cast iron pan that has been sizzling with some oil, and I let them sizzle until they're crispy. So you kind of let them sit on the pan for a few minutes, and then you turn them over and they should be crisp, crispy on the other side. If they're not crispy on the other side, you're going to want to let them sit a little bit longer and you're going to want the pan to be a little bit hotter. You might need to add a little bit of oil as you go. So you're just going to be mixing them up until they're nice and crispy. Um, you can of course taste test as you go, that's my favorite part of cooking. And once they're nice and crispy, they're perfect. I actually don't add any salt to them when they're in the pan. The hot sauce, the salsa, and the avocado, and whatever else I put on top is plenty enough seasoning for me. I don't need any salt on the potatoes. 
but you can add salt if you want, add pepper if you want, add any seasonings. As the potatoes are cooking, I put the corn tortillas in the oven at just about 200 to 250 degrees just so that they can warm up. I just want them a little bit warm. I don't like them when they're like cold. So then I, I let them warm up for just a little bit and then once they're ready, I pull them out of the oven. I add the black beans, I add the potatoes, I add the avocado, and then I add the lettuce and all the other toppings like the pickled peppers and the salsa and the hot sauce. And that's that. It's super simple, guys. Um, really delicious, super hearty, a great option if you are not eating meat or if you just want a more frugal option for tacos. Or maybe you're doing a meatless Monday. Whatever you're doing, this is a great option. And I love making potato tacos on our farm. We cannot wait to have more farm fresh potatoes in just a few months here. And I know we'll be making these a lot more. So enjoy making this recipe for your family. I would love to hear how you enjoy it in the comments below. Let me know. I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks for joining me for this little recipe video. I wanted to share this fun little potato taco recipe because as I've been talking about it, people have been really curious what the heck I've been saying when I say that we make potato tacos. So now you have it. Enjoy, and I can't wait to share my next video with you guys. Bye.